Montreal doesn't have an Albert Street, but there are a few arcades on St. Catherine Street. I'm wondering <laughs> if you're going to hit any of those. Uh, I'll try to find them, actually. I just got here yesterday, and the first thing I did was go outside, start walking. Like, I got to find my little spots here, so thanks for that tip. Um, so arcades, really? I mean, for everybody, it's a different thing. Is it just yeah. something to take your mind off of things? I like it. I, I think it's just, it's just cool, and it's... I mean, I think it brings back the child in me even more, I would say. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, every time I get a chance to do it, I just, I enjoy it. I just enjoy it. So a year ago, you rolled into Toronto, 40 in the world. Um, got to the quarters, then semi Cincy, round of 16 U.S. Open. How important was that first kind of stop in Toronto as a springboard for your summer hardcourt season? Uh, I would even say that first match in Toronto last year was just... I think the the one that kind of started everything for me. Um, yeah, I was I I was down and I was down a match point. I remember if I remember correct, I was just just not playing a good tennis. Simple as that. I think uh, I think I was battling too much with myself and trying trying to find the right way to do to play tennis. Um, but yeah, next thing you know, it was. Yeah, losing at the, the quarterfinal match, tough one. That gave me a bit of a hope and perspective for the next tournaments. And yeah, step by step, tournament after tournament, I I was building up on on each match and the way I was practicing and just the way I was being composed. I would say even off the court with the with the gym sessions and the way we were practicing. And of course, adding Danny Vavardu to to the team really, um, I think, really brought me up to the next level. What would you figure out there, Grigor? Like, I think it was I think it was more of a teamwork. I like to say, um, especially when when Danny came in, was just it was very straight up, very um, how to say, very responsive also to me and to you know how I felt on the court and what I thought about the game and the way we were working. And I think that really that really helped us finding the right. And the right way to work as well, the simplicity of it, but then making sure that we have the right, amu right amount of work and then still I have my, my little time off when I'm on my own because those kind of things I think are very important to me. Uh, and yeah, after that, you start winning a few matches. As I said, your, your confidence starting to starting to build up. And, and yeah, after that, we had a pretty amazing off season. So you came into the season, you said, look, I'm going to focus on the first six months. You know, I really want to do th you, you must be happy with how that went when you look at the, first, the body of work overall. Yeah, 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 of, of course, of course, especially this year. I mean, it's the, the first, uh, yeah, the first six months been, been, I mean, tough, but in the same time, very enjoyable. I like to say the, and it all started pretty much from the off season. I think off season really, um, really, I think, took a lot out of me in sense of, physically and mentally, but in the same time, I knew that I was ready to play. I knew I was ready to, to kind of find my way around the court, and I was, I was just very determined, fighting my way through every match, um, every point, I would even say, and then you're here. You said in Melbourne, I have straighter priorities. What are some of those? It's, it's more of... I'm, I'm becoming a bit more selfish as a person, I think, which which kind of helps me. Uh, still struggling with that concept, uh, but but yeah, I think if if, if you want to be where you want to be, certain things are very ine inevitable. I would like to say, and and yeah, I had to like kind of prioritize quite a few things. Um, well, I think the way I was practicing, the way I was structuring my days. Um, also, whether it's you know sponsors and family and everything, I had to kind of manage things a little bit different. It wasn't that big of a change, but as I like to say, little things make the biggest difference. So we, we the connotation is selfish is a bad thing. Selfish is a negative thing. Yeah. As a pro athlete, sometimes you have to be for it to be positive. It's a, I think it's a must as a pro athlete. Yeah, I, I, and I took it as a uh, I took it as a learning process to be honest. Um, you also talked about your you know the switch mentally. That you're more positive, more disciplined, more yeah. focused day of matches. Yeah. How so? I mean, nowadays, if you look around, we're surrounded by tons of things. I mean, it's going to the courts, there's tons of fans. You never know what some of them is going to say that might rattle you. 
you know things like that can can really throw you off I think not not me but I'm just saying overall um, there's just so many like little things during the day that can just take your mind whether it's for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes and maybe this is a time that you don't need to spend on something else but the tennis and and yeah I think I just found that that balance of it be like okay you know I'm going there to work so there's nothing else phone is on the side whoever needs to reach me they cannot I have Danny next to me so whoever needs something goes to him and yeah that's that's what I meant simplifying things finally this is the only time we'll get a chance yeah. to visit with you until next weekend if if it's Misha who wins his mm. first round match it'd be you guys facing off against one another yeah. you've known yeah. him for a while what mm. What's critical in that match against him? He's a very tricky opponent. He's a very tricky opponent. I've, I played him early this year indoors. Uh, it's a completely different, uh, different setup. I think, uh, yeah, I, I need to be pretty aware, ready, and very focused. He has um, a pretty, pretty good serve. His his game is pretty aggressive and attacking. Comes in, uh, comes into the net a lot, and he can surprise you sometimes with with certain shots. So. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely not an easy first match to play. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm here for, to compete. He's a guy who likes to go to the net. And, I mean, you're a guy who likes to pass. Yes, which is, which is true. But, he, as I like to say, he's been, he's been playing some good tennis. And even early this year, beat Andy at the Australia Open. I think he's still riding a good wave of, a, of a confidence. So that's, um, that's something that I need to take under consideration.